Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. If you collect sales tax from the sale of taxable products and services, QuickBooks Desktop helps you track what you owe and pay it. Let's go over how to turn on sales tax and then how to set up the rates you charge customers so QuickBooks calculates your sales tax accurately. The first step to calculate and collect sales tax is to turn on the sales tax preference. Select Edit, Preferences, then select Sales Tax, Company Preferences. Select Yes to turn on sales tax. Now it's time to set up the tax rates you charge customers. Select Add Sales Tax Item. Sales tax rates depend on your location. You should set up each individual rate you charge customers as a sales tax item. Then, once you've entered each individual rate, you can combine them together with a sales tax group. Let's set up the state rate first. Just name it after your state. Then enter the rate you charge for the state. And choose the tax agency you pay. If you don't see the vendor you pay, select Add New. Select OK. Now let's set up the rate you charge for your city. Select Add Sales Tax Item again. And name the rate after your city. Then enter the rate you charge for the city and the agency you pay for that rate. Select OK. Keep adding rates until you've set up each individual rate you charge customers. Now it's time to combine those rates together. Select Add Sales Tax Item and select Sales Tax Group. This is where you set up your combined rate. Give the rate a name and then select all of the rates that you charge together and select OK. Now that you have your sales tax rate set up, select the one you usually charge customers. Usually this is your combined group rate. Anytime you set up a new customer or item, use these codes to mark it as taxable or non-taxable. Normally these two tags are enough, but if your state requires you to report why a sale is non-taxable, set up a new code for it. Next, select when you owe sales tax. Select accrual basis if you pay sales tax based on the invoice date, or cash basis if you only pay sales tax on paid invoices or sales receipts. Last, select how often you pay sales tax. Once you're done, select OK. If you've already set up your customers and the items you sell, QuickBooks asks if you want to make them all taxable. You can always change it later, but this is the fastest way to edit all of your customers and items. Now that you've set up your sales tax, anytime you set up a new customer or item, make sure to assign the sales tax code. When you set up a new customer, you assign their tax code in sales tax settings. Go back to the home page and select items and services and double click an item. Use the tax code to mark if an item is taxable. Now you're ready to set up your sales tax rates and codes in QuickBooks.